everybody when you get up or when you get home or whatever will be able to hear it. Most of you will have known that I had my first dose of the vaccine yesterday and it was the Oxford uh, vaccination or the Oxford vaccine and I thought you'd like to maybe know exactly how I got on with it. Uh, the injection itself, very, very professionally done. There were uh, a constant queue of people all day, apparently, at this hub in Northampton. Hundreds of people that were vaccinated and they had 10 vaccinators, if that's the correct terminology, nurses and doctors who were uh, putting the needle in the arms of folk. And it was primarily for the older age groups, of which I am in there. And it went without any issue, really did. Now, why I'm making this little video is trying, I'm going to try to put anybody's mind at rest who is apprehensive about having the vaccine. But I'm going to make a request and I'm saying this really politely, okay? My request is, if you are an anti-vaxxer and you are wanting to contact me to tell me how ridiculous it all is to have the vaccine, that I am being controlled by a new world order, please don't waste your time or energy because I will not read such messages. They will be deleted and you will be blocked. So if you have enjoyed watching Sally and myself, um, those days will be gone. I am not going to tolerate people abusing what I am now requesting you to be polite and to respect the decision that I've made. Simple as that. I have chosen, and so has Sally, of our own free will to have the vaccination. End of. Now, <laughs> I drove back from having the vaccination yesterday. Slight ache in the top of my arm. That's all it was, a slight ache. And you know that those of you who've been following me for just on a year, a year and a few weeks, that I shared with the entire world what was coming with regard to COVID-19, what we were going through on the Diamond Princess ship, how we were being treated in the hospital, didn't mislead a soul. I just told everybody as it was happening, what was happening on a daily basis. And I'm not going to stop doing that now, okay? So what you're hearing from me is the absolute factual truth. So <laughs> the needle went in and I don't like needles okay and I said to the uh, nurse I said hope you don't mind but I'm not going to look and she said that's okay would you prefer to stand or sit and I said I'll sit <laughs> so I sat down in it went I could feel the pinprick okay but I had no idea that she had finished when she had it was quick it really was quick and um I felt a slight sensation in my wrist and that concerned them. So they made me sit down for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that to make sure I was okay, which I was, and went back, walked to the car. Sally was uh, uh, with me because the intention was that she would be driving back, but I felt absolutely fine. So we put the roof down and we drove back home. Now that was 11.30 in the morning UK time. Half past three. <laughs> this is where the story becomes interesting. Half past three in the afternoon. That really became more of a dull ache. But please, please don't let that put you off. Yeah, you know, I don't think anybody enjoys toothache. Don't think anybody. So if you remember back to those days when you were younger perhaps and you had toothache and you think, oh God, the throbbing and so on. It's nothing like that. It's just a very dull, very dull ache. And it's right inside the arm. 
it's not on the surface it's deep muscular you know right inside there so at half past three I was feeling pretty sorry for myself having a cup of tea with Sally and every time I moved my arm God love us I could feel it now half past eight <laughs> oh between half three and half eight I started to get a very gentle headache nothing like a migraine it was just a really gentle ache it was just over the eyes and behind the eyes nothing to worry about so Sally said you know you're gonna have a paracetamol I said no don't need it so it couldn't have been bad could it I said no don't need a paracetamol I'm fine you know just leave me alone let me feel sorry for myself <laughs> let me get on with it and at half past eight in the evening I really didn't feel good all right this arm was really aching I couldn't get it comfortable just couldn't find a, a comfortable physician sitting on the sofa my headache was on and off but not bad but it would be there and then suddenly it would be gone then it would be back again so I decided at half past eight to go to bed this is unheard of for me all right half eight go to bed and round about half past ten I think it must have been I could hear Sally's voice I was asleep but I could hear her voice and I could hear that she was talking to Stephen and Roberta so not in the room you know on FaceTime so I thought I'll phone them <laughs> so I, I'm upstairs in bed Sally's downstairs on her cell phone and Stephen Roberta in their home miles away so I could see on FaceTime that it was Stephen's call and Sally that those two but Roberta's her phone wasn't busy so I phoned Roberta and of course <laughs> totally unexpected but we had a chat for five or ten minutes told them how it went and that was it went back to sleep half past one in the morning oh my word this shoulder aching not pain not pain aching woke me but now here's the weird thing this shoulder was aching okay i got both damn shoulders aching but this was the one where it had the jab where it had the vaccination so as far as what I'm trying to say to you is please please do not worry about after effects I am a baby when it comes to stuff like this and I promise you yeah it's going to be a bit uncomfortable this morning it's very different okay I can still feel this arm this arm's fine I can still feel this arm uh, if I press it which I don't want to I can I, it, yeah I can feel the A headache on and off but it's so mild now what I did at half past one uh, I took two paracetamol went off to sleep till round about half four and at half past four in the morning oh my word on it came again and uh, just an A just an A so I had a couple more paracetamol and that was fine uh, I also felt, felt cold. Now we've got these duvets with goose feathers. So even in the coldest weather, you know, if we were camping outdoors, it'd be as warm as toast under these duvets. And I felt cold. So I think that is yet another of the side effects. And when I was sitting downstairs in the afternoon, way before I went to bed at half eight, I kept dropping off asleep. So I think that's another of the side effects that I've read about that you'll feel tired, that you'll have a bit of an ache. But hey, <laughs> when we compare this to what we've got to come, well, what have we got to come? We have got eventually freedom to get back on with our lives. Once the world is vaccinated, those people that choose to have it, we'll be able to get on with our lives. So important, really is. So if you've been sitting on the fence thinking, should I, shan't I, is it going to hurt? Is it going to give me bad side effects? Well, yeah, you're going to get side effects. 
I'll be amazed if you don't. I'll be delighted if you don't get any. Uh, but I would expect to have some. But I promise you, it's mild. It, it's not nice. You wouldn't choose to have those side effects. But it's livable. Okay, it's livable with. And I'm looking at the long-term goal. I'm looking to get back onto the cruise ships and to for traveling, not just Europe, but the world. And roll out the vaccinations worldwide. That's my message to everybody. Now, many, many people are going to disagree with everything I've just said. And that's your right. It's your prerogative to disagree with me. All I'm asking is, Please do not ram your views down my throat. I've told you what will happen. They won't be read. Your messages will be deleted. So you've been totally wasting your time if you do that. And you will be blocked. You will never be able to contact me on social media again. That's how strongly I feel about asking you to respect my privacy and my decision, please. Please respect it as I will respect yours. Okay, so there you go. Let me know when you have your vaccine. Uh, that's my first dose. It was the Oxford one. And I go for the second one on April the 22nd, I think it is. Same place in Northampton. And I can't wait to get it done. Really can't. And it'll give me a far, far greater peace of mind. Sally didn't have hers yesterday because they're doing it on age and medical uh, complications or conditions, whatever you call it. So I got mine done a few days earlier before Sally. She goes on Saturday and she'll come on and hopefully tell you how she experienced it. I'm not sure she'll make the Sunday live because if she feels like I felt last night, um, I, no, I wouldn't have been in the right state of mind to come on and tell you all last night. But today it's a new day. You know, and it, it's just improving. Hour on hour on hour, it's improving. So I've got a good, healthy appetite. Everything's working as it should. And I'm a happy bunny. Okay? Wherever you are in the world, you know what I'm going to say. Make the most of every minute. This life is for living. It's not for dying. So do the sensible thing. Have your vaccination. Don't be afraid of it. Soon as you're offered it, please, please take it up. Okay? Have a great day, everybody. Bless you all. Bye. Powerful day.